Let's explore the Business Modeler IDE user interface. Let's start by looking at views. The BMIDE Assistant view helps you get started using the Business Modeler IDE. Choose topics in the Assistant, to learn how to perform common tasks. If you want to learn more about a task in the Assistant, click the Read More link. The Help view shows online help for the Business Modeler IDE. You can read an individual help page, or browse all pages. To make more room on the workspace, you can close views. If you want to open views later, you can choose Window. Then Show View. You can even change the view size by dragging the edge of the view. The main view that you will use is the BMIDE view. This view shows elements that model business data. The Business Objects folder contains elements that represent the most commonly used objects, such as items and datasets. The Extensions folder contains a variety of extension elements. The Project Files folder contains the files managed by the project. You can add model elements to the Favorites folder by right-clicking an element and choosing Add to Favorites. You can also filter out which elements are visible in the user interface by right-clicking an element and choosing Filter. Let's take a closer look at the Business Objects folder. In this folder, you can browse the Business Objects. Or you can click the Find button to look for objects. For example, you can search for the item Business Object. Now you can click the Properties tab to see the properties on the business object. You can even add new properties to the business object. Now that we've explored views on business objects, let's look at your project files. Close the Business Objects folder and open the Project Files folder. The Project Files folder contains all the custom data model objects you create for Team Center. The default file in the Extensions folder contains the custom data model definitions. The Output folder contains files generated when you deploy your project to a server, or package your project into a template. Now let's look at the project properties. Right click the project and choose Properties from the context menu. Select Team Center. Then BMIDE. Here you can see all the project properties, including the templates used for the project. Anytime you need help, choose Help on the menu bar. And then choose Help Contents. In the Help window, choose the Business Modeler IDE Guide. Then select the topic you want to read. Now that you have seen an overview of the user interface, watch other videos to learn how to create custom data model definitions using the Business Modeler IDE.